Listen, all of you. As you've clearly heard, a rare vacancy has occurred in the House of Balance. There has been an event, a great twist in the narrative of our kind. Sir Sagril has fallen. Sagril, slayer of Ozigen, defender of the crown of Haxi, has been defeated. A death in the House of Ballads gives an opportunity, a chance for one hero to join the ranks of the greatest champions in fay-telling. Olain, Kreth, Wenson the Bold. Do you, do any of you, have the courage to pass the confirmation? If you do, your adventures will be sung to the heavens for all eternity. Mundane don't belong in fey houses. This does not concern you, mortal. You would not, could not, understand. One of our most beloved heroes has fallen. Sir Sagril's passing leaves his legend in peril. A seat in the House of Ballads cannot remain empty, lest the great stories end. And that must never happen. We are the collectors of tales, the warriors of lore, the most respected of all summer court heroes. Our deeds are known across the Fey lands. Our great knights, Wenson the Bold, Ermer the Pure, Olain the Kind, are destined to repeat their quests for all eternity that no Fey may ever forget. They remind us of who we are and what we've done, of our greatest achievements and our deepest losses. The house ensures those defining tales are never forgotten. Sir Sagril, slayer of Volzigan, lord of the morning mists and defender of the crown of Haxi, was one of our most beloved knights. His tales have endured for generations. Several days ago, he departed to do battle with the Grave Thresh, his most famous and legendary foe. But there was an event, a twist in the story. In this telling, it was the Thresh that bested Sagril. Such an outcome has never happened. I don't know what to make of it. You are bold. But that is not how tales are told in the House of Ballads. Only a worthy fey hero may finish his quest, complete his story. However, these are strange times. Magic weaves itself in new patterns and change. It is the one thing with which we fey have no experience. If you so choose, join the other pledges. You too may attempt to defeat the Grave Thresh, recover Sagril's ring, and take his seat in the House of Ballads. Go now and make the song your own. Why is there a mortal here? You have no role in fey telling. This story belongs to one of us, not some whelp fresh from the cradle. First that strange maiden, now this. What is it you want here in Gorgoath? Alas, Sagril's is a twisted tale, and we could use every available hand. You may stay, but the seat will never be filled by a mortal. Of that I am certain. We were too late to catch the thresh as it fed. Now the beast slumbers guarded by the vines and weeds of Gorgoath. But all is not lost. If we can destroy the roots before they take hold, we can rouse the beast. Come, I'll keep the thresh occupied while you seek out the heart vines. 
Keep your eyes open.
shall face this threat as a pair mortal. We've come this far. Why not finish it together? I do not like this. Sir Sagral was a clever rogue of great and merry cheer. Oh, come and listen to the song of he who had no fear, of he who we hold dear. Forward! The beast awaits! Be on your guard. I have a feeling the Thresh won't fight alone. I do not like this. Sometimes he drank his weight in wine, and many lovers pleased, and drunk from such idle pleasures, with lethargy was seized, on beds of grass he eased.
We're not through yet. How can this be? Sir Sagro dead? I do not understand. Such a tragedy has never occurred in this song. Not in all the seasons of the telling. At the end of this ballad, Sagro defeats the Grave Thresh. He is victorious. I don't know how, but someone has changed the song of Sir Sagro. Listen. We are not alone. I do not like this. Fearsome roar awoke our hero from his rest. The maid of Windermere had called the grave thresh from its nest to have at her behest. Thank <laughs> you. 
Master Sakral approached the spirit deep within Gorguath. He slashed its wicked stock and root safe from behind its wrath, slyly from a side path. defeated the Grave Thresh. What a tale you've claimed for yourself, my friend. You are granted the seat of Sir Sagril and all privileges hereto, including membership in the Court of Enchantments. Alas, there is no time for celebration. There has been another incident. The King has asked for you. One similar to the plight of Sagril, I dare say. Another erratic chain of events. The Ballad of Bloody Bones has taken an unexpected turn. The great Sir Ferrara has been sent to face this new challenge. But he will need your assistance. That is how the song is sung. Sir Ferrara tracks the villain Bloody Bones to his lair and rescues the fair maiden, sacrificing himself in the process. This is Ferrara's most selfless act, to give up his own glory for the good of another. It has always been this way, and must be preserved for all seasons. In every telling, Sir Ferrara falls at the hands of bloody bones. But he is not left to perish alone in the cold of Uduat. Sir Sagril, his night hand, comes to him. Sagril revives the fallen hero and brings him back to the lights of this summer life. Without Sagril, without you, this ballad cannot be sung. Excellent. Speak with King Wenson in the oratory. It stands on the crest of Ettenmere where it once hosted the lords and ladies of the High Court. Take this potion. You will need it to revive Sir Ferrara. Unless mortals have suddenly created a method of resurrection, it's our only option. You will know when the time has come to use it. Now go, find King Wenson. The telling is in your hands now. Farewell. Farewell.